Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Welcome to Build of the Week. In this series, we showcase compelling builds created by members of the Path of Exile community. This week's Juggernaut build doesn't do much direct killing. Instead, it takes a more supportive role for the two minions it manifests. It does this by using the fated version of the Dancing Dervish unique sword, the Dancing Duo. Like the basic version of the sword, the Dancing Duo grants the ability to gain Rampage stacks. Once you trigger your first Rampage threshold, the sword leaves your hands and two copies of it manifest as minions. These minions get all the benefits of any support gems socketed in the weapon. It's a good idea to select gems that bolster minion speed and damage, as well as melee attacks. The most challenging part of playing this build is activating the Rampage killstreak. This build employs a handy trick of using three writhing jars which create enemy worms you can kill to help trigger your first rampage. This makes it much easier to both start and maintain the killstreak. You might then run into the issue of not being able to maintain your flask charges for your writhing jars, so look for a belt that lowers the number of charges required to use your flasks. Besides the ubiquitous life and life regeneration, this build's passive tree also focuses on minion benefits, armor, and endurance charges. This helps to make sure your minions deal a lot of damage and that you stay safe. A perfect combination, just like your duo. To help improve the damage of both you and your weapons, it can help to use an animated guardian alongside items that increase life. Some good choices to pair it with are items like Blood Bond, Leercast, and Dying Breath. The Juggernaut Ascendancy also provides powerful lifesavers by granting life regeneration, doubling the armor from your body armor, and helping you generate endurance charges. It also mitigates any movement penalties you might encounter in the environment, which ensures that you can keep up with your spinning twins. This unusual build can be challenging to level, but it's a quick map clearer and relatively cheap. Just make sure you don't lose your rampage streak. These are all of the unique items you might want for this build. They're ordered by importance and how difficult it might be to find them or buy them from other players. These are the gems you'll need. These should also be very simple to acquire. If you're interested, here are the microtransactions that the character in this episode is wearing. For more in-depth information about this week's build, you can find a link to the guide in the description of this video. If you'd like to submit a build for next week's episode, just post a build guide in the class forums on pathofexile.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.